Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we'll cover setting CAE boundary conditions. So you're going to start by going to the CAE Set Boundary Condition panel. This is where you're going to create and modify boundary conditions for your grid. Now currently, all domains are in the unspecified BC. To create a boundary condition, click the New button. In this case, I'm going to start by specifying the body of the car as a wall type BC. So I'll change the name of the boundary condition by double clicking and typing car and then change the CAE type to wall. Now the types are solver specific, meaning each solver is going to have a different set of BC types. To assign a boundary condition to a particular entity, domains in this case since we're working in 3D, you'll first need to pick the domains in either the display window or even better, if you're working with a complex model such as this, you can use groups to quickly select domains. In this example, I've got a group that consists of all the car body domains. So notice when I pick that group, all the domains have been selected and I can assign them to the newly created boundary condition by clicking the checkbox under the set column. And notice that in the second column, you can see how many domains have been assigned to this BC. I'll go ahead and assign the rest of the boundary conditions for this problem. One nice feature is the ability to add domains that have been assigned to a boundary condition to the current selection, which is handy when moving domains from one BC to another, or to unassign domains from a BC entirely. To do this, simply click on the BC in the table, and then click Add to Selection. You'll notice that the domains are selected, and I can click on any other checkbox to move the domains to that boundary condition if I wanted to. The last thing I'd like to cover is a connection. Now down at the bottom of the frame, you'll notice there's a checkbox labeled Select Connections, which is turned off by default. If enabled, I can assign boundary conditions to interblock connections and baffles. Now an interblock connection is, as its name suggests, a domain that's used by two blocks. A good example of this in this case would be the domains that are used to define the refinement block downstream of the car. Now because connections have an orientation, you can specify different BCs on either side of them or the same BC to both sides. Typical types are going to be fan type BCs, porous jumps, and interface BCs. Now because these domains are simply there to define my refinement block, no boundary conditions are required and I'm going to leave them unspecified. Now that I've set up all of my boundary conditions, I can export this grid to my solver and begin running my simulation. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.